While slow paced days like these are great for making memories, my typical days are short on free time. As a result of that, I use several different methods that increase my efficiency at the tying table. I always cut my materials to the dimensions that I need prior to beginning the tying process. I prefer to do this in bulk. This greatly limits the interruptions later on as I sit down to produce flies. I also try to keep an assembly line mentality whenever possible and avoid prepping materials one at a time. After my materials are prepped, I think storage and organization. I like to use large plastic storage kits like this one that can be purchased at your local hobby store or Walmart. I set up these kits for all the major patterns that I tie throughout the tying season. Inside the kit, I keep hooks, beads, and any color and size variation materials that I might need to cover the range that I want out of that particular pattern. This saves me the time of searching through drawers and over the tops of my tables to find the appropriate materials. When it comes time to tie, I simply have to pop open the kit, set out the materials, and I'm ready to start being productive. A pair of scissors that fits comfortably in your hands and that you don't have to put down is one of the biggest possible time savers when it comes to tools. While hands are helpful, don't be afraid to think outside the box when it comes to preventing you from having to pick up and put a tool down during the tying process. This too saves valuable time. If I do have to put down a tool, I prefer to use a six by six inch square of white packing foam. This allows me to quickly jab the tool into the foam without having to look for a specific spot or a specific slot. It also provides a nice stash for finished flies or flies that need to dry as you move through the tying process. While tools are helpful, they're not always necessary. Finishing tasks such as creating this dubbing loop or whip finishing once again save you the valuable time of picking up and putting down a tool. The purpose of these tips is very simply to help you produce more flies which will hopefully result in more fish finding their way to your net.